notes. Okay, so children, today we are going to discuss about the coal and only coal children. Yesterday I was telling about the natural resources, man-made resources. Natural resources, two types we told, renewable and non-renewable. Under non-renewable, coal and petroleum natural gas are told. And coal and petroleum natural gas are called fossil fuels are told. Fuels are substances which develop energy on, com uh, on combustion are told. Fossil fuels are coal and petroleum. Today I am going to discuss only about coal. Exclusively about the coal. Coming to the history of coal, children, coal consists of exclusively carbon, only carbon, of course, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus are present in minor components, but coal mainly consists of carbon. Okay, children, so it is, of course, you know, it is black in color, it is also called black gold, children, it's going to be exhausted very soon, after 40, 50 years, you will not be having coal, children, no. because of the deep mining, the extensive mining that all over the world, coal is getting exhausted at the faster rate than we are, what we are thinking, then what we are thinking, it is getting exhausted at the faster rate, and I think the situation will come one day where you have to take your children or your grandchildren to the museum and you have to show the piece of coal, in the museum, that situation may go into arise because of urbanization and overpopulation, population explosion, and even due to unlimited use of natural resources and non judicious use without a, a, you, uh, without any this thing they are using like anything children and production of electricity you think uh, everything fossil fuels are used extensively children. That's why coal is getting exhausted at the faster rate, children. Coming to the formation, I already told you, no children, formation. How did it form, children? It is formed from plants, forests, okay, which got dead, which, be, which, be, which are dead, or due to volcanoes, or due to earthquakes, which are buried under the earth. Which are buried under the earth for millions of years. For millions of years, they got buried under the earth, and then due to the compression, due to the pressure, over pressure, due to the high temperature inside, what happened? Any plant, any animal, any organism on the earth consists of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen in its body. Hydrogen and water escapes as water, leaving behind carbon. That carbon has become coal, and which we are using now. It is fossilized. This is called as carbonization. It is slow process that it takes thousands and millions of years, children. In today and in tomorrow, sir, I will bury something in the plant, I will get cola means no children you will not get like that it has to take millions of years thousands of years should get buried deep compression high temperature then what actually and everything should go out as water then the leftover component is coal that is how we are getting coal children now what are the varieties of coal during the formation of the coal children suppose wood got buried wood got buried first it turns into peat peat means only 20 percent carbon will be there children Next, it converts into lignite. Lignite means only 40% carbon will be there, remaining all other elements. Next, it will turn into bituminous coal. Bituminous coal. It consists of almost 60%. And last, it becomes anthracite. Anthracite has almost 92% carbon, children. Okay? So these are the different stages of coal formation when they got buried under the earth. When they got buried under the earth, first it turns, wood turns into peat, lignite, bituminous, anthracite. Remember abbreviation TLBA. Peat, lignite, bituminous, anthracite. Peat, lignite, bituminous, anthracite. This is the coal stages formation, coal formation stages. Okay, children, do we have any coal mines in our area, children? Yes, Jharkhand, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh. West Bengal. If you come to our Telangana, in Telangana, do we have any coal mines? Anyone? Singari. Very good. Singari coal mines we have. Kottakudam, Ramakundam, so many coal mines we have. They never coal mines are there. They are only thermal power projects they will keep. Why, children, can anyone say? Anyone? Sir, for liberating energy. Wherever coal mines are there, their only production of electricity they will do. Why, can anyone say? 
सर बिकॉज इट टेक्स लॉट ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन टू डू या फिर क्या स्टेट वाइट टू अननेसेसरी ट्रांसपोर्ट अगेन चिल्ड्रन वेस्ट ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन वे एवर यू गेट ओवर दे रो वी दे एस्टैब्लिश थर्मल पावर स्टेशन सो ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट वुड बी रिड्यूस्ड अगेन तेलंगाना दे आर गेटिंग इन दिस प्लेसेस चिल्ड्रन नेक्स्ट कोल ऑन बर्निंग लिबरेट्स व्हाट चिल्ड्रन कोल इफ यू टेक इफ यू पुट इन अ वेजल एंड इफ यू पुट इन अ वेजल चिल्ड्रन take coal and subject it to destructive distillation what is destructive distillation combustion in absence of uh, oxygen heating any substance heating any substance in absence of air in absence of air heating any substance in absence of air is called destructive distillation sujit sujit what is destructive distillation definition this fellow Really, Pravinika, what is destructive distillation definition? Heating any substance in the absence of air. Rishkesh, heating any substance, substance in absence of oxygen. Air, air in absence of oh. air. If you yes. close it and if you start heating it, now coal will give first to coke will come here, then coal gas will come here, and it gets collected and separated, and here. Coal tar also will come, and also some amount of ammonia liquor will come. Ammonia liquor. These are the components which you get on destructive distillation of coal. What are the components of destructive distillation of coal? Coke, which is a solid. Coal gas, which is a gas. Coal tar, which is a liquid. Ammonia liquor, also a liquid. These are the components you are getting on destructive distillation. What are the components of destructive distillation? Coke, coal gas, coal tar, ammonia liquid. Coming to coal gas. Coal gas, children, mainly it consists of methane, hydrogen, carbon monoxide. Okay, children, it is an excellent fuel, children, and it produces a lot of light on burning. In olden days, they used to use coal gas as street light, children. Nowadays, no one is using. But coal gas consists of methane, hydrogen, carbon monoxide. It produces a lot of light, children. Coming to coal tar. children coal tar is one of the major by product of coal industry children whatever it is get giving out it produces 200 different types of compounds from it some examples i will give children they are preparing drugs children they are preparing dyes children they are preparing explosives they are preparing paints they are preparing varnish they are preparing plastic they are preparing synthetic fibers they are preparing pesticides they are preparing benzene they are preparing toluene they are preparing phenol they are preparing naphthalene and last but not least damper which they put on the roads laying roads is also coal tar only so many compounds you get from coal tar and one of the very very important by product of coal industry okay children i hope you are able to understand please copy down and learn as it is in the exam i last all these things now coming to the last one coke children coal is there coke is there coal on destructive distillation use coke coal on destructive distillation becomes coke which is the best fuel coal or coke which is the best fuel coke is excellent fuel children can anyone say why because it liberates less smoke can anyone say why it liberates less smoke can anyone say why it liberates less smoke because all the common is gas is the what the molten materials are not there all these materials are bond no children <coughs> it liberates less smoke it has high calorific value it has high calorific value it burns without flames it burns without flames it burns without flames okay children so ammonia liquor is used in making ammonia fertilizers children and also children coke the coke which is there it is used in manufacture of steel what is steel so the iron if you put carbon you will get steel carbon in the sense coke coke means not drinking coke what is coke destructive distillation of coal gives coke iron plus coke gives steel iron plus coke gives steel no one on this app will use pure iron children because pure iron is very soft 
If you put little amount of coke, then it will become steel. Steel is the hard, and everywhere we use steel. You know, one on this earth we use pure iron. Pure iron is very soft, children. Remember, pure iron is very very soft, and uh, this is how children coke is very very best for you because it liberates less smoke. It has highly aromatic value. It burns without flames, and uh, a pollution cost is very less. Coke is also used in steel industry, and in production of electricity, coke. So, what are the uses of coal, children? What are the uses of of coal uses of coal are number one it is used as fuel number two in production of electricity in thermal power stations in production of electricity in steam engines to run the steam engine and some sorts of organic compounds we can prepare from coal and in extraction of metals also i told you know coke is used in extraction of metal coke is also used in extraction of metals okay children this is about entire thing about the coal children so coal formation takes place in four stages what are the four stages being kidney between the cancer side what are the three components of destructive distillation of coal children coke coal gas coal tar ammonia and liquor coal gas uses is used in street lighting because it is used high ratio and coal tar uses so many uses notes will be there in my video and also i will set it separately coke is the best fuel than coal instead of using coal better use coke children because it's good fuel it's produces less smoke less pollution high calorie value burns without smoke and what are the uses of coal it is used as fuel it is used as production of electricity and steam engines and production of organic compounds and in extraction of some metals in extraction of metals coal is used in coke form not coal children Coal is used in coke form, and iron plus coke is steel. I told you again and same children. No one on this earth will use pure iron. Why? Right? Pure iron is soft. Little carbon coke you add, it will become steel. Steel is used everywhere. Wherever you say iron, that is not iron. Wherever you see iron, that is not iron. That is steel, children. Steel. Iron plus coke gives steel. Iron plus coke gives steel, children. Learn as it is very very important. I will send the picture also. Thank you, children.